Hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So in this video, I will show you how I use a couple of these speed lights in order to create these beauty portraits. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and are looking to improve your photography skills or your off-camera flash skills, then this channel may be for you. So you might want to consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload lighting tutorials such as this, which I do every three to five days. So today we are actually combining two previous videos. Normally I just shoot with one light to make it simpler for everybody to be able to follow and understand, but I think it's time for us to go into a more complicated type of lighting setup. That's why today we are using two speed lights. But if you want to see how this setup turned out, I will leave a link in the description below. And if you want to see how this one light also served as my main light, again, I will leave another link in the description below. Okay, so as I said, we are gonna be creating a beauty portrait using just two speed lights. So what do we have here? This is basically a Photix Premio 85 reflective umbrella with a sock diffuser in front. And I have here mounted this one, this is, the MagMod Mag Shoe. Now, this serves as your flash mount and umbrella holder at the same time. It goes like this, it goes on your flash. This is basically a cold shoe. And one thing I really like about this MagMod Mag Shoe is that you've, it's basically a pistol grip. So the moment you depress this button, you can now tilt the flash the way you want the direction of the light to go. So let me mount this flash here. Then we have here, as our background light, a 36 by 48 um, softbox by Photix mounted to a light stand using this one. This is the Photix Cerberus. The Photix Cerberus now is another type of flash mount similar to that of the MagShu, except that this one has a Bowens mount in front, which allows me now to attach modifiers like this that have Bowens mount on it, okay? Now, this one will go this way this will serve as our main light. This will serve as our background light. We also have here the five in one reflector. And basically today we are using the silver side because I want it to be a bit more specular. And we'll put it this way, okay? Now we go on to my camera. So that camera that I'm using is my Sony A7R Mark IV and my lens is the 85mm 1.4 GM. Now the reason why I'm using the 85mm 1.4 GM is because I'm doing some tight portraits today because it is a beauty shot and the 85mm for me is the perfect focal length for me to be able to capture that without any distortion. Now as I said earlier, I have two flash units here and one behind the subject which is serving as my background light and they are both being controlled remotely using this one. This is a Sony WRC-1M. And the reason why I like shooting with my Sony flash is because I am able to control all my flash settings within the in-menu system of my camera. So the first thing that we're gonna do now before we call in my model is that we will set our ambient light exposure. So by doing that, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna remove all existing ambient light. So let me turn on my live view effects. There we go. So this is basically the exposure that my camera is seeing. We are at one over 250 because that is my flash sync speed. I don't want to do high speed sync today, which we don't really need to. And my ISO is set at ISO 100 so that we can get the cleanest image possible. And now my aperture, it is set at 1.4 and you can see there's a lot of ambient light being captured by my camera. Now I can actually do this. I can use my shutter speed to control my ambient light and go on high speed sync and shoot at 1.4. But to be honest, beauty portraits are not meant to be shot wide open. You want a lot of clarity from the nose to the ear. So I will be shooting this at f 5.6 or maybe 6.3. So let's bring this back within my flash sync speed and go to f 5.6 there. At f 5.6, we are already completely black. So this is the actual exposure that my camera is seeing. Now look what will happen the moment I turn on my trigger. 
the moment I turn on my trigger, it basically disables live view so that I can actually see what I am shooting. Okay, now my white balance, my white balance is set at 5600 Kelvin, which is basically the white balance of my flash, but I might actually make it more into the warmer side later. It really depends, as I said in a lot of my previous videos, white balance is very subjective, okay? So now it's time to call my model. Babe, come on in. As usual, as usual, you look amazing, babe. Thank you very much again to our friend Mela Jimenez for virtually assisting Coco put on her makeup and you're wearing Micah's outfit. Oh, yeah. so thank you very much also to our friend Micah Limchok for providing Coco with her outfit for today. So now let's set our flash power. What we will do is that I will actually turn off high speed sync. This one is set at group A and the one behind Coco is set at group B. By the way, if you guys are new to the channel, Coco is my wife, so don't get shocked when I call her babe, okay? So let's turn off this flash here first and just tweak in the flash behind the subject. All right, so let's take one test shot now. We are at half power. Now you see with this one, we're actually getting mm, pretty good light already. We've got a nice spill on her, on her cheeks, which actually rims her face, but maybe we could make it a bit weaker and maybe put it at one fourth power. Let's see how it's gonna look like at one fourth power. That might actually be better. At least the spill is a bit more controlled. Now with that one, let's turn off group B and turn on group A and see how this light will look like. It's set at one half power now. Hmm, this is actually pretty interesting. I like it already as is, but it might be a tad overexposed. So maybe I'll just bring it down about two thirds stop. Nope, one third stop. That's why I don't use a light meter anymore. I trust my eye better than a light meter. There, I like that already. So now let's turn on the background light and see how they mix together. And there we go. Beautiful, beautiful shot already. I like it, it's beautiful. So I think my white balance is correct already at 5600 Kelvin. Though I always like shooting portraits to be on the warmer side because it gives a warmer feel to the image. So I will actually bring it maybe to 6300 Kelvin and let's take a test shot. There. I think I like this one better. All right, beautiful. Okay, babe, can you lean towards your right side? Very nice, and then chin towards me. Eyes straight to camera. Very nice, oh, beautiful. Love it, I love it. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful portrait already. As is, it's a beautiful beauty portrait. Can you extend your chin a bit? Extend your neck, yeah, there, and then look at me. Very nice, very nice. And that's how easy it is to create beautiful beauty portraits with two lights with a white backdrop. Now, let's do something different. Maybe we can experiment and make this black. I have here just a standard illustration board. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover the light from behind Coco there and let this light here and here spill and create that nice rim light on her. And let's see how this one will turn out. Oh, very nice, babe. Now with this one, since we covered a lot of the light, we can actually make the background stronger Maybe we'll put it on full power. Very nice. So that's how we do two light beauty portraits. So we had a Sony Speedlight here, the F60RM, with a Photix Premio 85 reflective umbrella with a soft diffuser. 
Then we just had a standard five in one reflector here with a silver side. Then we had a 36 by 48 a rectangular softbox from Photix also behind Coho. And we were able to actually create two types of images, one with a black background and one with a white background. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you wanna see more of my images, you could always follow me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.